Mrs. Santa comes back from eating soup and is about to put the spoons away. But then she has an idea. Surely the spoons are also suitable for experimenting. She takes two spoons and puts them on top of each other in four different positions. In position one, both spoons point in the same direction. The second spoon lies parallel to the first spoon, shifted backwards, with the scoop of the upper spoon lying on the end of the handle of the lower spoon. In position two, both scoops of the spoons point in the same direction again, this time only slightly shifted parallel, so now both scoops of the spoons are close to each other. In position three, the two scoops of the spoons point in different directions. The two scoops of the spoons point outwards, the handles lie on top of each other and overlap considerably. In position four, the two scoops of the spoons point in different directions. The two scoops point outwards, the handles lie on top of each other and overlap only slightly. Now Mrs Santa hits the scoop of the lower spoon with the edge of her hand. From which position does the top spoon rotate most often? A. From position 1, the top spoon rotates most often. B. From position 2, the top spoon rotates most often. C. From position 3, the top spoon rotates most often. D. From position 4, the top spoon rotates most often.